Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today's date is February the 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 twentieth. 2024. Thank you to the Adventist Book Center for this calendar. Uh, I got back to China from Malaysia yesterday. So what does that mean? That means it is a toy haul video. The things that got delivered while I was away. Start with two non-toy things first of all. Number one, bong bong, little headlamp. So I can wear that and provide extra lighting for you guys on some of the videos and some of the details. Number two, another tape measure. But this one, because someone suggested it in one of the comments has got both centimeters and inches for my American friends. So you get a better idea of size when I do the sizes. Okay, let's get into toys. Start with the big things first. I got from, from, from Zes Ray or X, X's Ray Studio. I got the Cassos the Crusher Minotaur. This is 112 or 110 scale, massive. Now, I have got one of the figures previously. I've got the uh, the Rhino one, which is amazing. I'll put a link in the top right for you for that. Uh, and they are fantastic figures. They do like Roman soldiers, gladiators and whatnot. Really cool. Next one i got is another Minotaur. Slightly different, different name. This one is Phallus, it looks like. Both look amazing. Obviously, same body sculpt, different sort of armor, uh, different heads, different color. Look very, very cool. Okay, let's come down to next size down. So 112 as opposed to 110. I suppose I have two things to show you in this. I've only got one that's come. That one's going to come probably tomorrow. Uh, Star Wars The Black Series. I picked up Loose Miners Ahead. This guy with the forearms. I've forgotten his name. Got him so he can work well for a custom. And he will scale well with 118. To give an example, if I get a Boss Fight Studios, my arm, what's he called? Sigurd the Wanderer or Sigurd Survivor. If I put him foot to foot, this guy's not much bigger. So it'd be quite a good scale for customs for doing with your one your one and eighteen. Now the other one I've got coming is Maz in Star Wars the Black Series skill because she will scale fantastic on 18 scale too, because she's a tiny character. Okay, coming down now to the preferred scale 118. Where to start with this? Okay, let's start with Boss Fight Studios. I got the King of Asperity. That's from the new ones. Now, people have been complaining about the new ones, saying not as interchangeable, poorer quality plastic, blah, 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 etc. When I do my review, I will see. Next, I got oh, one, two, and three of the... Knights of Asperity, going to block out the Star Wars guy there, but that's okay. I also got one, two, three of the Knights of Accord to go with my other ones. So I've got a nice force of both. Stick them on top, maybe. Will they stay? Yes, they will. And we can't see. Let's go back a little bit. In fact, let me zoom. Oh, that was right. Out a little bit. There we go. And maybe I'll take my Star Wars guy out. Though he would just... No, I won't leave him there. He would disappear in a minute anyway. Uh, still monitor skills. 118 skill. Still Boss Fight Studios. I got myself two of the Sing Pirates. Really been looking forward to these for a while. And so that's cool. They stay up. Ooh, don't fall down. I reckon they can stay. Oh, great news. They can't really see him there. Uh, still 118 skill. Still Boss Fight Studios. I got another set each of the the cavalry kits for the figures, but they not they look like they may not be one hundred percent compatible with these ones. I don't know. We will see. So I'll stick there and sort of there. Let's put one there, and I'll put one on there. Still wanting to scale, but no longer Boss Fight Studios. From Eagle Force, I picked up Blockhead Infantry. He's got like the little dog there. He looks like Saitama, One Punch Man, maybe. <laughs> a good sort of a base for that custom, perhaps. Looks like Saitama a lot there. Very, very cool. Let's stick him on the outside. Still 118 scale, no longer Boss Fight Studios. These you may have seen on the Facebook groups. This is a guy, and he does all different action figures. So this is Hunk from Resident Evil. Parts are inside. 
Um, I'm assuming it's everything, not just that part, what we can see. I could be wrong. Yeah, I can see legs there, boots. So that's going to be very cool. The other one here. I'm not sure who this one is. But it's like one of the Resident Evil girls again. And then this one, which looks like Leon, we got as well. Okay, leaving our beloved 118 scale. Uh, going down slightly in size, but 110 scale compatible or nearly compatible. I picked up oh, this, this. This says 130 scale, but actually, these are mechs are quite big. This uh, match soldier peacekeeping armor. And it sort of shows you front and back on there, if we can see that. That might be a bit better. And I got the Lul TG Assist Humanoid Soldier. Two of those ones. So I'll stick these boxes behind ah! there. I'm not sure where this one goes. Put this one by the Asperity there. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking good. Okay, one more thing to show. Last thing, apart from that one which hasn't been delivered. Really excited about this. Um, I picked up a Lightyear Hyperspeed uh, series, and this is um, this is the uh, Armadillo, but there are two versions. There's the brown version I've got, like, one or two of, and there's this version. I've got two of these versions in UK, which I got from the US, which my friend Ed, if you're watching Ed, thank you very much, and hello, uh, got for me and sent over. Now I picked up one here in China, which is far more expensive here because I wanted to get another one. And it's so cool. Not as it look great. It's got loads of sound effects. Check this out. Lights in the back. Lights in the cockpit. That's just so cool. Very, very cool. I look forward to having a play of that. I might review it here and then take it back. Also, the cockpit opens, these parts smooth, the door opens, and according to the back, you've got feet that come down, land again, it come down, it can attach a little arm, you can grab the cyclops and whatnot. So, that one I will try and stick by. How do we do that? It's a bit behind blockhead, maybe. I'll stick that over here. You can't see that. Okay, never mind. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, so that is my uh, my toy haul that was waiting for me. Minus one thing, which is a Star Wars The Black Series stuff. So uh, no Joy Toy stuff. They didn't send anything, but I think because of Chinese New Year, they went around and on break and holiday and whatnot. But I'm expecting some stuff from them soon. Okay, if you've not done so already, please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of the screen now. You can see all the reviews as soon as they're published. Um, sorry, all the reviews before they're published on YouTube. And also we have prize doors from time to time, exclusive content from time to time as well. So it is worth checking out. In fact, you can check out for free for seven days. So it's worth doing that. Okay, I will see you next video very, very soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.